Welcome back to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. In our previous session, we had learned about pH chemistry for hydroponics. In this video, we will learn about electric conductivity for hydroponics. In hydroponics, EC is the measurement of electrical conductivity within your nutrient solution. It may also be shown as CF for conductivity factor. So, while checking pH levels gives a good indicator of the balance of your available nutrients, while EC gives you an idea of the quantity of available nutrients. Pure or distilled water has no electrical conductivity as it contains no minerals. Once minerals are added into water, the dissolved salts allow it to conduct electricity. This means whenever you are making your nutrient solution for your hydroponic system, make sure you first check the electric conductivity of your solution that you will be using in your hydroponic system. Let's go to our next slide here. Now, what is the EC that has to be maintained for your plants? For most plants, the EC measurement is between 1.2 to 1.6 during the vegetative stage. For flowering and fruiting stage, the EC has to be maintained between 1.6 and 2.4. But this mainly depends on the type of plant that is being grown. EC depends on the nutrient solution that we make for the plants. For example, tomato nutrients EC will be different when compared to any other plants like cabbage or lattice or capsicum or any other plant. Once minerals are added to the water, the dissolved salts allow it to conduct electricity. Why EC plays an important role for your hydroponic system? Measuring EC gives more detailed idea of what is actually happening within your nutrient feed, more than just taking pH reading alone. As time passes, EC will either stay the same, go down or go up. And this is why you need to measure it regularly. If EC stays the same, it shows that plant is using equal amount of water and nutrients. That means that the plant is showing a good growth with a balanced intake of water and nutrient. If the EC measurement goes down, it indicates that the plant is using more nutrients than water. In this case, we should top up the nutrient solution back to what it was and possibly even try a stronger nutrient solution feed to balance it. If you increase the strength, watch the EC closely to see how your plant is reacting. This means the nutrient solution that we are giving to the water, for that nutrient solution, we need to check the EC after two to three cycles or if you are using your grow bags for the plants that case the water that is actually strained from the grow bags make sure that you check the EC of that extra strained water that comes out of your grow bags and after you check that that would give you the clear picture about the amount of nutrients being taken by the plants and amount of water being taken by the plants. So now let's forward to another slide here. If the EC measurement goes up, your plant is using more water than nutrients and it isn't taking up what it should be. In this case, we need to add more water to dilute the solution down. Burned leaf tips and less growth can be sign of overfeeding and if so, your nutrient solution may be too strong. So be very careful while you are preparing your blend and make sure that when you prepare your blend, either you consult any expert for nutrient solution or else you can even come to me 
even I can help you out with that. But never rely on YouTube videos who are actually not that expert in preparing your nutrient blends. So make sure that you always consult a expert who are very much expert in preparing the recipes for the blend of nutrients for your plants. Temperatures can also affect this and on hotter days your plants may take up more water than nutrients. So you see that strongly acidic or strongly basic solution will have high conductivity. Since the pH is the measure of the concentration of hydrogen and the hydroxy ion for an acidic solution. The lower the pH that is the higher the hydrogen plus concentration the greater the conductivity will be. So I'll repeat it again. I'll repeat this once again so that it's very much clear. So you see that strongly acidic or strongly basic solution will have high conductivity. That means any solution that is strongly acidic or strongly basic will have high conductivity. Since the pH is a measure of concentration of hydrogen and the hydroxy ions. Since the pH is a measure of concentration of hydrogen and hydroxy ions for an acidic solution or a basic solution that is alkaline solution. So the lower the pH the higher the hydrogen concentration and greater will be the conductivity. So this would have really help you out to clear the little bit concept of EC and uh, pH how they are resembled actually. So we'll go to next slide here. Now the main part comes as testing conductivity. Now conductivity that is EC measures the amount of salts or nutrients in your system. This tells you how much food is available to your plants through the water. These salts include sodium chloride, calcium, magnesium bicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates. The most common are sodium and chloride which can be toxic to plants in high levels. Sulfates, calcium and magnesium are necessary nutrients but they can create hard water that affects pH but not electric conductivity. That would only affect the pH of the solution. In hydroponic system, excess salts can accumulate and block the pipes or grow backs. This is especially true in hot grow tents where water will evaporate and the reservoir will leave behind extra salts. This creates higher EC which can damage the plants by overfeeding or over diluting. So make sure that you have an attentive eye on the conductivity meters to regularly monitor the EC of the water that is being given to the NFT system for the hydroponic system or also make sure if you are using grow bags for your hydroponic system I would rather suggest every day before one night prepare new nutrient solution for your plants so that would really help you out not to actually monitor your EC on a regular basis. So that would be the best suggestion that I can give you that if you are using grow bags for your hydroponic system, uh, you prepare your nutrient solution before one night so that you can have a clear picture about your EC and pH in the morning, uh, in the morning before you actually uh, water your plants with the nutrient solution. And to check your electric conductivity for your nutrient solution, I would rather suggest go with good meters which can be easily calibrated and after it's calibrated, we need to be very sure that we can rely on it for another two months or three months or four months. So go with the best quality EC meters so that you need not to calibrate it again and again on every testing. So you need to only invest your money once for your EC meter. And then you are ready to go. Now we'll just end the session here. In the next session, we will learn about all the list of meters that we actually require in our hydroponics. And that is one of the most important topics for the hydroponics that has to be actually 
known by all hydroponic engineers so that they can actually handle the controlled environment of poly house that is set up for our hydroponic system. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.